All right. I'm going to look at wrapping this up today. So, let me see. What was I going to do? Oh. I remember one thing I was going to do really quickly. Maybe not necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. Huh, that's interesting. Well, I guess because we can't go back to where that was, but that's not what I'm thinking. Hang on. I'm going back to the snow area for just a minute. I can uh, easily get like a level or two out of this. Alright, so I'm just gonna... There's like one or two battles here, and that'll give me the level up. And then, yeah, I have more damage, so it's worthwhile. Oh. Yeah, I suppose he is that strong now. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, see, I saw it. The initial hit does plus one damage. I guess that makes sense. Okay, the XP is reduced a little bit, but that's fine. It's, it's enough. Oh, it didn't work. I thought it would shoot it across the whole thing. Okay, so it's only immediately behind. Okay, that's fine. Just a couple more battles. Ugh, got it. either the next one or the one after. Depends how many enemies this is. That's nah, only two.
Ha! Ah, uh, but... It's not the time I want it to proc. fight. Well, this is going to be a level up anyway, so... Oh, no, but that's a partner one. It's not a Mario one. Hmm. This changes things a little. I mean, honestly, I don't think it's a bad thing anyway. Visit the store and purchase just AOE items. annoying. Ah, oh, come on. Just this teleportation into me. Oof, jeez. It almost didn't work. Hank, thanks for the raid. How's it going? Alright, now I can continue. I'm good, good to hear. What are you up to tonight?
You've been up all night, right, and run? No worries, hey. Get some rest. Well, thank you for the raid, and yeah, appreciate it. Cal Divers, Overwatch, and Wrapped Up Midnight Suns. Cool. Yeah, I'm looking to wrap this game up tonight. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I needed to get before I go down there. This is what I don't get. Like, I have all these shines, but... Yeah, lucky. Hmm. There's got to be like another reason to collect them. All right, I'll just go for the ball. Is it? <laughs> what kept you, Mario? Anyway, there's nobody here. As such, I can only conclude that they use some special method to pass through the door. Special method? It's all come down to this. Now hurry, Mario. Hold aloft the last crystal star. Look at the door. Okay, I'm sure the order of this is not significant. <laughs> At long last. The entrance to the Palace of Shadow has been opened. Before Princess Peach falls victim to that fiend, before he takes over the world. You must rescue the princess and stop this cataclysm. Let's rock, Gonzalez. Okay, so it is a whole chapter. Alright, cool. I was worried this might be short, but it's fine. If it's a whole chapter, it should be a while. Well, this place is nasty, but we don't have a choice. We've got to cruise through and save Peach before this whole cataclysm happens. Come on, Gonzalez. Hey, 
I mean, are they going to hide stuff in here? Wait, is that a visual glitch or is that something? Mm, I'm gonna say visual glitch. I think it's just a reflection. this here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be fine. Keep thinking it's on the tactics. That's a swoop cooler. An airborne blood sucking back bat like thing. Max HP nine, attack four, and defense is zero. As if losing HP wasn't bad enough, this little creep adds yours to its own. How totally, totally gross. Don't let it bite me, Mario. Should be fine. I can't hold any more items. Ah, yeah. oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. How much damage is she doing now? Okay, almost the same. If I level up again, it's going to help. did the thing where I'm pressing, like, Xbox inputs again. <laughs> One day, I hope that controllers will agree on what's what as a button. This is what happens when I go back and forth between stuff. One more damage wouldn't have got on that anyway. Damn, that's actually worth a lot of experience. 
I might actually be able to level up. I'll keep that in mind. I might just I might just use that in the next fight and then just come back for it. Ah, uh, okay. Wait, I haven't fought these things before? I thought I came across them earlier. That's a dry bones, a former Koopa whose spirit animates its bones. Eek, that's so freaky. Max HP 8, attack 5, defense 2. When its HP goes down to zero, it collapses into a pile, but it'll eventually rise again. Fire explosions to put a permanent end to it getting back up, though. A dry bones will sometimes build friends if it feels outnumbers. If you don't take them all out close together, they'll just keep coming back. Okay, so... I guess I have to time this right. How am I going to do this? No, but that still works, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use... Where is it? Since there's one in the previous room anyway. The only thing I'm worried about is if I leave this room and come back, it might respawn them. I'm gonna take the gamble. I suppose fighting again wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Okay, it's fine. It's kind of hard to say who I should attack first.
Uh, I guess just use... Oh, that one only restores five. Okay, easy. if this will work. Okay, it does work. As long as they all go out simultaneously. I'm good. What's that? Oh. <laughs> that does not do much damage. All right. Well, this is fine. I can spam all the spells I want because I'm going to level up. That's a bombshell bill blaster. It fires bombshell bills. Makes sense, right? Max HP 10, defense 4. It's really, really tough. Yeah, hard to hurt this guy. Thing is, if you don't take it out, it'll keep shooting bombshell bills at you. So you got to figure out a way to beat it fast. Um, hold on. Oh, I should have identified it. That's fine. I'll just do that. Let it survive one more round. That's a bombshell build. These things are repeatedly shot out of a shot by bombshell build blasters. Its attack is higher, but its HP is low. To take it out before it takes you out. Then again, if you focus on these guys, you'll never win. Smack that bombshell bill blaster. Well, I kind of have to take it out. Tank up. No. It's one of these rooms. What is this? Oh, it's a badge. <laughs> I 
Hey, Lola, how's it going, man? That's just, I can't get that. But it wouldn't appear again. I could have got him with coops. I guess. Not that it matters. Tired, yeah. No sleep. Long work day at the bakery. Oh, right. Yeah, the job. Oh, come on. I, I can't even blame that it's late at night. This is just negligence on my part. Funniest shit you've seen in a while happen, though. Oh. Go on. I'm gonna lose more health from this than the actual battles. I'm right. Hopefully this is a job for Vivian. Oh, I don't like this. Is this familiar? This younger dude who works up front with you had to go to the back to restock milk, okay. And he was gone for a while, so you went to check on him, and I guess he had knocked into a cart in the walk-in and knocked over a tray full of hot dogs. So when you got back there, it was him standing there looking distraught with a bunch of hot dogs on the floor rolling around everywhere. How many hot dogs are we talking about here? Like comedic numbers? Blah, blah. None shall pass by. Let those who sh would disturb her sleep fall into the depths of an endless darkness. Ah! May the intruder never find the key to this door. Alright, Bobber, you're up. <laughs> oh, there you go, I got into a battle. The 
Okay, no problem. Like at least 50 to 100? <laughs> that's like a... It's a pallet of hot dogs. It's like if they sell them by the dozen. That's like... Quite a bunch of hot dogs. This is interesting. Why... It was really bad. Felt like an ass couldn't stop laughing. I had a similar situation. When I used to work retail. A co-worker was setting up a um, a shelf of peaches, peach cans. And, you know, he was just showing off what, what a good job he did. And then moments later, the entire um, display came crashing down because he had used the wrong shelf brackets and they could not support the weight. So we're talking about 50 tins of peaches just everywhere. And him scrambling to pick them up before, like, a manager noticed. So his nickname was Peaches for a while. Had, had he not bragged about how good his display was, I think it would have been fine. It's just the fact that he bragged. That's a Dark Bones. It's the baddest of the Bones, gang. Max HP 20, attack 5, defense 2. When its HP go down to 0, okay. Right, right, right. Well, I wanted to do that. You better take out his buddies all at once. I tried. What is this? Defense? Defense. Good. Okay, we go for piercing bloat. And then swap to Barbary. And this is done. Imagine trying, someone trying to buy a hot dog that day. Like, I'm sorry, we've run out of hot dogs. There was an incident earlier. This is one of those things that you call it an incident. The hot dog incident. Okay, well that's, that's good. Now I only have Ultra Mushrooms. It just assumed I was going to do bad in that fight. That's fine. Heavily armored. Um, I should probably save my... My star power. I don't think he's going to do anything. This music's cool. Not what I was expecting. Oh, hey, this might interest you, Lalo. Have did you see any of the uh, the games that were announced today? There's this new roguelike game that's being made by the people that made Dead Cells. Um, it looks really cool. What was its name again? But uh, it's got a really cool art style. And the gameplay looks really neat. 
on. Let me find the name for it. I'm terrible with names, so... We added it to my wish list earlier. Tenjutsu. It's the name of the game. This... Looks like it's heavily inspired by, like, old anime. Phantom Ember, it's an angry spirit born of hatred and confusion. So um, I'm not too cool with this thing. Blech, blech, blech. You'll take damage if you touch it, and if something, or oh, something even worse will happen if you attack it with fire. Also, if it attacks you, you might catch on fire, so try to guard well. Okay. Well. This is where we do this. This warrants it. So good. again, so that's nice. Again, just gonna throw it into health. Uh, I'm just gonna use it. Uh, who needs healing? There you go. I don't think he does enough damage to do something. Nice. Looks dope, like Neo Tokyo City vibes inspired by the Toriyama age of uh, anime style. Yeah, no, for sure. I'm keeping an eye on that one. It looks cool. I haven't looked at everything that was announced today because the thing was like at six in the morning my time, but that one immediately caught my attention. So it looks really cool, and if the combat from Dead Cells is anything to go by, 
Um, I'm sure this is going to be like really fluid in terms of combat as well. It looks it. <laughs> you know your boy loves a rogue like we eat that stuff up. Yep. Figured. Yeah. It looks really cool. I didn't watch Summer Games first this time around, because I don't know. I feel like part of it just feels like a massive ad. <laughs> I, I thought about it, getting up and watching it, but then it's like, I'm gonna watch trailers for AAA games that have battle passes and stuff like that that I'll not ever really have an interest in. It'll be like 80% that. And then, yeah, there'll be a couple of titles I'll definitely want to check out, but for the most part. Oh, that's Flower. Yep. Hand it over. Um, what's the best way to do this? Yeah, I think this is the right way to do it. And then just hammer. Hear that if there was a reward show or like a convention specifically for indie devs, you'd be all over that. Yeah. The only thing AAA that I'm interested in is the Elden Ring DLC. That's about it. But that, you know, I, I know enough about. Like, legit big game studios would be banned from the event or something. Yeah. I'd totally be up for that. I don't know. I've just kind of become very jaded towards games that, um mention battle pass live service or like their announcement trailer is basically a movie trailer that doesn't show gameplay and then the game's releasing in like six months what is that no garbage get it out of here Some of the stuff for the Elden Ring DLC did get you kind of hype. Yeah, I wanna. I, I'm. I'm still debating whether or not I'm gonna play through it again or just continue my old character. Like I haven't decided, because the DLC is not. I mean, it's a sizable amount of content, but it's not long by any means. I think I'm just gonna do this. This is just simpler, and I'm gonna level up anyway. So yeah, this is the right call. I wanted to do like a, a mage playthrough because I didn't do that. I want, you know, strength and dual wielding great swords. I mean, it was awesome, but I kind of want to give magic a go. <laughs> Wish I was playing on PC. Day should start again together. Well, I was debating on getting it on PC just to use my rig a bit better. Because as, as good as it is on PS5, it would run better on my new setup. Particularly if I want to do 4K, it's just like, well, it's going to look infinitely better. 
I wouldn't have to make the trade off of like, you know, frame rate versus quality. for starting over you sent it way too hard on faith on your first character and ended up regretting it yeah but there's faith based builds you can do I guess it's, it's worth checking the meta now like what you can do with each stat I will say like what I did was a lot of fun just start with big big heavy weapon for one and then you eventually transition into dual wielding great swords and you just slam and power stance with it, it's awesome. Wow. This is gonna be one of these things where we rotate the room, isn't it? Had a dream of a faith dex build, not sure if that's if it's still true now, but faith at the time was trash. I think that changed because everyone was doing the bleed thing and I think they nerfed that style. Again, I'm sure there's a way to play that archetype you want. Is this a Lost Woods situation? Is this a Lost Woods situation? This might be a Lost Woods situation. Oh, goody. <laughs> Alright, hang on. Pay attention and see if there's like a clue. Oh no, that's not helpful. The River of Blood Katana or whatever became the most overused weapon in PvP. Th that's part of the reason why I never want to do PvP in the Souls game because I've seen some relatives of my mine do PvP and what it seems to be is like People just find the most annoying thing to deal with, and if you're unaware of it, you just have to basically know how to counter it, and it just becomes that. Or people just ambushing, you know, like setting up in a place where obviously you're going to run into some grief. And I'm good. <laughs> I don't, I don't need that. How do, I'm going to look at the door carefully. There's got to be a way to know. That is somewhat of a bummer, because if we want to play together, we'll get invaded. Oh, so you can't even do multiplayer without invasion stuff. It depends how often it happens. I mean, you can set a password, can't you, to minimize it? I don't like it when it's just something annoying to have to deal with. So how do I know? The thing that I've noticed is the torch in the background. I'm in it just to build a character and just play through it. I don't want this to go to trial and error. OK, 
Okay. And that's definitely the torches. be the end of it. There we go. Oh boy. Golly! We get out of one weird room just to find another. It's enormous down here, like an underground city. What is this place? Don't recall how it works, but don't think there's any way to get avoid getting invaded in multiplayer. Well, not avoid, but minimize it. I'm guessing this is the way back to... Oh, maybe not. Come on. Oof. I hate to get chomped by those teeth. They look nasty. High defense. You can't damage the fire or ice attacks. Luckily, it has low HP, so you could take it down with the special move or an item. Well, I was gonna use the special for this specific fight. We'll just go art. It's fine. Heal here. Oh, wait, but explosions aren't going to work. <laughs> ah! Yeah, I, I'm honestly just going to. Notice there's a lot of roses. Very floral, this underground area. 
wonder if this last boss is going to be a giant plant of some sort. Go to the... Uh... What? Okay. <laughs> Maybe not do that just yet. This seems to be going deeper. This is probably something important. If I was to take a guess, probably a way back to town or something. Palace of the Shadow Tower. Look there. What is that? It's absolutely titanic. What in the blazes is it? I'm intrigued by this indentation here. Why well, you could put something in it. Puzzling shape, though. All these doors do nothing, they're cosmetic doors. Huh. Well, they lead somewhere, it's just environmental. like whatever's here I can't do anything yet. what this thing is. Such a weird design. That's a dark wizard. It's a part machine, part organic, centuries old thing. Max HP 10, attack 5, defense 2. It uses magic to attack and to alter your condition, so stay on guard. If there's only one left, it'll multiply itself to confuse you. I know they look totally goofy, but 
they're actually pretty tough enemies. That's nah, okay. There's only one. underground theme. I have to press things. No, this is a valid tactic as well. Oh, come on. It doesn't avoid both attacks. Alright, never mind. This is leading. Feels like I'm just looping again. Okay. Eh, but like. I appreciate they tried to stay true to the original game, but man, only being able to hold 15 items. No, this has to be. There has to be something special to this. Oh, hang on. I can just finish it off. I don't have to swap. I didn't spend my flower points before a big boss. <laughs> I mean, special points. Star points. Who are you? Who is this? Oh, it's another dragon. No one disturbed me here in eons. Who dares defile this sacred place? Uh, that's a big dragon, but Mario, isn't that Hooktail the one you said you beat? Gigantic with mossy teeth, yes, this monster fits the bill, alright. What? You destroyed my precious younger sister? I wondered why she hadn't ridden recently. Quake in fear, mortals, for I am Gloomtail. I will avenge my sister by taking your lives and then gnawing on your bones. We're just going to meet everyone's sibling now. 
Wahaha, my first fresh meat in ages. Allow me to take my time and toy with you a while. Okay, hold on. You're up. That's Gloomtail. I think he's Hooktail's brother. I see the family resemblance. Max HP 80, attack 8, defense 2. He'll bite or stomp you. He may breathe poison on you. Great. When his HP gets low, he may throw in some other attacks as well. Wouldn't surprise me. Especially watch out for his mega breath move. Because the word is it's gnarly. He also stores power for some attacks. So use Vivian to hide to avoid those. Oh. Okay, it's going to be one of these fights. Seven HP. Okay. That's a lot of HP. I only have ultra mushrooms, that's not cool. Nah, that's actually decent. Okay, we're gonna take one of these. And... Pass up. You are tough meats, my pasty little morsels. But how will you fare against this? Ow. Oh, yes. Here we go. Here we go. Thirteen damage. Um, I'm gonna have to, otherwise Mario's gonna go down. Do it again. Mm. 
Ugh. You are not the easy prey you appear to be. I would never be able to show my face again if I was bested by you whelps. So I will show you the true extent of my power. Yikes. Right. Whoa, do you understand my true power now? What power? Hmm, how can this be? Oh, you've got to be kidding. How much health does I have left? 13. Uh, bail again. Should be able to stop this. No, no, is it true? Can I expire? Is that a level up? It's a level up, maybe not quite. Close. At least there was no joke about feet this time. Oh, there it is, the star stone. <laughs> what is this? Guess. It's not really a substitute for the items I used. didn't respawn. I was worried that was going to happen. Eh, that was just not a great item anyway.
I mean, I, I get the feeling I'm gonna have to fight just special versions of the bosses. Maybe not all of them, but some. Oh, no. Well, now we know what these doors are for. <laughs> okay. I know, I'm glad I didn't try to finish this last night. Carrying secrets from on high, straight on, straight onwards, destroy what lies in your path. Straight on, straight onwards. Okay. Hopefully it's going to mark which ones I've done. Yeah, good. Okay. The stars up in the heavens shone. The shy ones hide their shape. The shy ones hide their face. Okay. The, well, I think I know what this is going to get me to do. Every character is going to be used here. Ah, this is fine. I was worried this was going to be like a Mega Man thing. Where it's the end and then you have to fight everything again. No 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 Let me read Carrying the lore of the sky, let fall the weakest, then build to the strongest. Let fall the weakest and build to the strongest? This is the weakest one, though. Oh, that's the weakest one. What I got the feeling I'm gonna have to do this again. Hang on. I'm gonna preempt this. I got the feeling this is what I what I did was wrong. Ah, stop. <laughs> These things are so quick. Okay. 
now it's between... Those two. I'm hoping this is the right one. Oh, I got it wrong again. Thanks, Vivian. Okay, I should get it now. Now, this one... Right side, it's letting me build my star power. This is gonna be good timing because I can spam the spells. this by skill and might engraved in stones four stones twin rooms one is two two are one smashed. push this. Hmm. 
так. I don't think you can make that gap. No. Too long ago. The fact that the room doesn't reset concerns me. Two rooms that look the same. Oh, okay. So that means there's an identical room and I'm guessing by breaking that brick, I've broken another brick. Oh, wait. That's four. Stones to rival the celestial spheres. All you see isn't all there to be. Touch it to pass through. Whoa. Okay. And far, fear far and wide across the land, that the unseen may yet be felt. Be it here, be it there. This is the quickest way I can think to hit something that's invisible. It's been a while since I've had to use her. I'm guessing this is the other half. Interesting. Identical rooms. The seven hewn by a fell hand. Onward, onward, onward. Retreat, retreat. That was easy. Okay. Yeah, so it's a mirrored room.
open that bat. I'll have access to that door. This one is there, and the other one... Where's the other one? I guess it's the only doors remaining. I've done all the other ones. That's all of them. What is this? The stars up in the heavens, heavens shone, carrying the lore of the sky, carrying secrets from on high, by skill and might engraved in stone, stones to rival the celestial spheres, the seven honed by a fell hand, beard far and wide across the land, master of shadow, queen of fear. Golly, it's moving. Huh, what? Was that? We haven't reached the point where it's giving me one more last chance to go back to town, so I can't imagine them that far away from it. There's usually one more. Are you sure you want to continue?
We've been waiting for you, Mario. Oh. Well, Professor Frankly, what are you doing here? Thank you so much for opening the door for us, Mario. Yes, that was nice. Thanks to your do-good and predictability, my plan is progressing very smoothly. Opening the door for you? What do you mean by that, you purple witch? <laughs> so you still don't see it. Ah, such fools. The professor, frankly, you were with when you opened the thousand-year door was none other than this little freak in a sheet. Ah, my name's Duplis. <laughs> the real Frankly is probably still passed out, dreaming a little dream. Poor thing, and once we get rid of you here, our plan will be nearly complete. Ready for the end, my dears? You and that traitor Vivian have a date with eternity. Gaha. That's right, Slick. Eternity. Shut up, freak! Oh, uh, oh, okay, right. Sorry. No way we go down, sister. You want a piece of this? Bring it on. Come, my sort of lovelies. Marilyn, freak sheet. Go. I said my name's Duplis. I don't have to identify them, I don't think. I think it's all good. Unless it's... All right, my kind of lovies. This time we take out Mario and his goon squad for good. So, if I catch you slacking, you'll be in for incredible punishment come tomorrow. Go. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, really? I have to... Nope. I will re-identify them. But first... Probably the most problematic one is going to be this one. That's Duplis. He's a shapeshifter and even turned into you once, Mario. Max HP 40. He may turn into one of us in attack. When he does, he'll have our abilities. Hey, do you think he became one of the three shadows? Isn't that weird? How do you think he stands Beldum's abuse? You think he's all right in the head? Curse you, Mario. This is so very annoying. Blast it. Okay, ow. Oh my god. Uh oh. Well, that just went to crap very quickly. You're up, Vivian. Oh, come on, that's not fair. I can't dodge that. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. No, we, we absolutely... Don't have time to do tattle here. Oh, they cut my special. I can't I can't attack with Mario. Um What is that? I can't see. It's a rock. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna do this. Yep, yep, yep. 
Are you okay, Marilyn? Gah, uh, uh. Hey, you, freak sheep. Pull it together, will you? Don't make me punish you. <laughs> so, so, so sorry. Oh my god, this is rough. Okay, we have to swap you out. Wait, hey! Attack! <laughs> that was horrendous. <laughs> I'll leave the rest to you. Okay, good, she's gone. Alright, get tanky Bobbery in. Gah. Nice. Oh no! That just sucked because they all did status affliction. Ah, at this rate she will never! Ah. Gah. Uh. Ugh, okay. I didn't use heal items, so that's fine. That's a cheesy tactic. I'm going to fight them. <laughs> but I want the drop on them. <laughs> Alright, Ponus, you're up. I might be able to sneak in another bubble level. Oh, okay, this is just gonna... Why couldn't that this have happened in the big fight?
Oh. This is a pretty long segment. Okay, well, I know what I have to do here. I saw six switches. feeling there's a reason to want to take out the yellow as well. Wait, what is this? Ah, oh, this is a multi-step process. At least I got rid of the fog. Alright, level up is close. Just hang in the... This is a multi-step puzzle. Wait, what now? Or is this just a way this is a way out, not a way in?
Wait. Oh, it doesn't let me do that. This is leading to something. <laughs> oh, it's this again. my cue to run. That is not worth fighting. gradual. I can't go here yet, can I? Okay. Analog stick turned around. <laughs> okay, well. One more fight.
Really? Oh, I didn't. Okay, no, this is fine. This will work. There we go. Oh, and I got a heal for that. I'm gonna assume that immobilization just isn't gonna work on a last boss. What is this? Okay, it is something. See if there's not like a hidden rail or something. Okay, no. Uh, it's probably something I didn't resolve in the previous room. to achieve. that off. There's nothing here. <laughs> so what, I did the right thing? The purpose of this is just to take you down, like exactly what I did before, but just, just wait. Just checking. Must 
be something I didn't do in this room. Hey, Gami, what's up? It's all right. Just kick him back. This is significant. everything we learned to get through this. Just think about what we've been through and you'll find a way. Hmm. But I don't specifically remember this. something in this previous room. now. Hmm. Maybe this will work. Kind of hesitated. Okay, now it's this. Oh, okay. Hang on. I need to take note of it. This makes sense. Um, one, three, four. One, three, four, six. One, three, four, six. Okay. Okay. 
One, three, four, six. Wow, this has already been a couple of hours. This is a long chapter. That can only get me right now. Oh, what have I done? This is fast. I did it wrong. Oh, no. Uh, that's just annoying. I guess as long as it's equally annoying on both sides. There we go. Uh, this is a ride the Yoshi on.
This may be it. Um... I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm not gonna open the other items, I don't think. I'm surprised it hasn't given me one more chance to go back to town. But that's fine, like, I'm... I'm fully healed. Ah, this room creeps me out, man. It's just wrong. What is this chamber? I mean, the theme of flowers. Like, what is this going to be? We finally meet Mario. I've been looking forward to this, I must admit. So this loser is the leader of those x knots Yes, correct. I am the supreme leader of the secret society of x noughts I am Grotus. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I must really express my thanks to you first. And do you know why? You have gathered together all of the crystal stars I was seek seeking. No. To the last crystal star we found on the moon, we're idiots. You just realize it now, do you? Yes, instead of taking the few crystal stars you fooled had bumbled into, it was far easier to let you find them all and open the thousand year door for me. How kind of you to bring them all here to me. All I had to do was entrust the last crystal star to my least competent underling. I don't suppose Crump had any idea of my plan, though. So whether he beat you or lost to you, the crystal stars would be together and mine either way. Pure genius. Now, I thought the three shadows would do a little more progress to slow your progress. I wrote that wrong. But it appears they are so useless that even this small task was beyond them. No matter. Now I get the pleasure of sending you to oblivion. Watch it, Gonzalez. This guy looks serious. Dude looks serious. Once you fools are gone, no one will stand in my way. Greatest will rule the world. Not gonna happen, pal. Now come! Meet your ends, you meddlesome fools! You will know my power! Okay, it's one of these. Yeah. Oh, I have to get all the leaves. That's annoying. Doing much damage. Okay, that helps. Great evasion. I 
denke, das ist, das ist ein Müll für Vivian. Doesn't matter. Take them all out. I'm just gonna do a normal jump. So much for being able to dodge them. Okay, Vivian is key here. <laughs> I'm surprisingly going to use this. some heals and also facilitate Vivian. So you have the metal to push me this far, but no more. Vivian is great in this fight. Vivian carry. <laughs> yeah, you will not stop me. Damn it. That was unfortunate. I'll oh, stop. Good. Okay, good. She dodged. this up. Ah, uh, okay. That's not bad. Ugh, falls. Oh. That's not cool. Okay, well now... I'm 
they asked for it. Oh, that's it. Cool. Ah, no! Ah, <laughs> you're more than you seem. But this is not finished. I saw even this possibility. Hmm? Watch this! Where am I? Mario! Princess Peach? Move one step and she'll breathe no more. You wouldn't. Now try this! Oh, okay. Mario! Now again! Mario? What should we do, Mario? We won't make it if we don't attack him. Stop your blubbering. This is it. Make your end. Uh, what? Oh! Bowser? Oh, that was a surprise. I didn't think I'd fall. Crummy ancient tower construction. You're in pathfulness. Are you okay? Whoa! Why is Mario here? And Peach as well? I don't know what's going on here, but I'm going to put an end to it right now. Mario, first I pound you, then I take the princess, and then the crystal stars. What? This is unbelievable. All this and Bowser too. <laughs> oh, all worn out from battle, Mario. Yes, easy pickings. Today's the day I flush a plumber down the drain. Oh, crap. Oh, what's the finale without a Bowser appearance, huh? A cruddy finale, that's what. Now hold still whilst I trounce you and take my peach. Mario, you snibbling bug. This is it for you. Well, hammer. Yeesh. This is going to be tough. Ah, I sure feel good today. I'm feeling it. Lord Bowser, Lord Bowser, rah, rah, get him. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm double dipping. Twenty-five, twenty-five, eh. One. And then... Two. 
damn it, couldn't get the last one. There's no time to use Tattle here. Yeesh. Thank you. This is a problem. 10 HP is not a lot, so I'm just gonna Ultra Shroom. Poor Vivian. Uh oh, no, come on, that's not cool. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yes, let that happen. Ooh. Alright, that's gonna hurt. That's fine. Get off the broomstick. It's probably better that way. Oh, so Mario, you still have some fight in you. Not bad. Oh my god, my blocking. If I put her as a frontline, it's gonna. Well, I guess I, know I don't have any buffing stuff. Fine. Alright, um. Just keep using piercing blow. Just get through whatever armor is there. Oh, that's not cool. I'm changing my target now. to be as aggressive as possible. Forgive me, Lord Bowser. I have nothing left. Good. Okay. Should be fine now. All right, Bobbery, you're up. Oh! 
Level up, please be a level up. Oh, double experience. Let's go. Yes, perfect. <laughs> level up. Yeah, we're going health. Like, we're tanking up. How could this happen? Uh, rather close, hmm? At least we've settled that burly bloke's old account, old boy. Uh, let's say Peach. Hmm? Where's Gratus? That was Peach. Of course. <laughs> Sorry. Um, previous room, save point. And items that I didn't pick up. Poor Bowser. Yeah, but I like his role in these games. Glad I came back here. Makes me appreciate what they did for the Wii game. Like Super Paper Mario. Oh, see, that was a heal chest here anyway. This is good. Something big is coming if it's doing that. Too bad for you, Mario. You're too late. What's going on here? Gak -gak -gak, look well. In the coffin behind me sleeps the legendary treasure. This tomb holds the soul of that ancient demon, the wielder of destruction. And the crystal stars you brought here will undo the seal. The demon's soul will possess Peach's body and bring life to the most powerful witch in millennia. So that's why you nabbed the princess. Mario, I'm sorry. Sending you that map. It was all this trouble, didn't it? And with the power of the witch, I will rule this pathetic world. The time has come at last. The world will be mine. Now, arise! Arise, my Shadow Queen! Oh boy. Oh no, just stand by and let it happen. That's, that's fine, man. It's a cutscene, there's nothing he can do. Damn cutscenes. Imagine just using that in real life. Just as an excuse. Sorry, it was a cutscene, nothing I could do. Hello, I can't come into work today. Sorry, cutscene's playing. Uh, uh, hmm, wha wha what's, what's going on?
brother? The Skyets. What's all this? The sky, it's turning dark. <laughs> Who has called me back? It is I, my Shadow Queen. You. Very well. Where is the vessel? It is here, the girl who lies before you. Yes, a fine vessel. Now. Then am I to deduce that this is the end of the world? What was that? Something terrible has happened. No. But the demon of legend have truly awakened. No, this is unthinkable. Oh, okay. Nahaha, <laughs> witness my rebirth. My soul has not yet fully accustomed to this vessel, but I will learn to control this body soon enough. Pit page. Yes, my glorious Shadow Queen, destroy these impudent fools! Who are you that would command me? What sort of being are you? Huh? What do you mean? I thought... You are bound to obey the one who woke you. Oh no, she's hot. <laughs> that, hey, if, if big collars are your thing, more power to you. Enough of this prattle. Do as I say. Now, or I will send you back. <laughs> you would do well to learn. You're the proper place, slave. No one commands me. My powers are not yet fully restored, but they will come in time. <laughs> that Mario face. <laughs> what's, what's going on, Gonzalez? This is wild. My queen? Oh. You have returned to us. Ah, Beldum, what ages have passed? So you are the one truly responsible for calling me back, yes? Yes, my queen. I searched for a pure heart that you might inhabit. And as I did, I spread the rumor of a great treasure. Then I led the fools who had gathered the crystal stars here to open the seal. Yes, you have fulfilled your duties admirably. I am not worthy, my queen. And who are these things that stand before me? Yes, they appear to possess some modicum of power and may be of some use. Mortals, if you'll become my faithful servants, I will not harm you. Gonzalez serves nobody, lady, right, Gonzalez? <laughs> the game just ends. I refuse. I see, so you defy me. How amusing. 
Then, you wretched fools, you will learn the error of your ways. Yeah, I'm not going to tattle. <laughs> I'm not wasting a turn on an important battle. You are foolish to oppose me. Yes, and that foolishness will have to be punished. Gonzalez, we're not real champs unless we beat this evil lady. So don't go soft on me. That's not Peach, you know, so show no mercy. Then again, maybe some preemptive knowledge might not be the worst idea. She might warn us of something. Oh my gosh, what happened? I can't believe Peach got possessed. That's awful. 150 health. Now she's the Shadow Queen, the demon that destroyed th this town a thousand years ago. Okay, she'll unleash big lightning attacks. She'll also use magic to raise attack and defense or absorb HP. She might even try to drag us into darkness. I don't feel good about attacking Peach. Well, you have to do something. Don't think of it as Peach. Think of it as we just have to fight to the end. Come on. All right. I'm conserving. Yeah, this is, uh... We'll use bonks for now. Okay. And swap to Vivian. I don't care about your defense. <laughs> and then Veil. Yep, I uh, I made the right choice there. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, back to jump. I'm gonna use flurry for a bit. Keep the castle inside the circle. I haven't really... Oh, I see. Yeah, I mean, look, that's that's fine. Like, I'll use her now. So then it doesn't wear out the good... <laughs> the good partners. <laughs> that's a bit harsh, but... You know, it, it is the truth. So you are not weak. Maybe you are less useless than you appear. This body is unfamiliar to me. Yes, too unfamiliar. Let me assume my true form and show you real power. In this form, your attacks are like those of a child to me. You are lucky. You will perish with the honor of seeing true horror and power. Okay. Swap her. I mean, I gotta try. Yeah. No, use, useful item. Glad I grabbed that. Uh-oh. Ha 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 ha, is that your idea of an attack? Foolish. Struggle as you might, it won't be enough. Uh, 
Oh, well, she's out. Yeah, I don't want to go all in and use, you know. Like, I hope this works. Yeah, okay, no, this is... Oh, coops. I'm sorry, coops. What do we do here? I guess we just have to ignore the hand. Wait, it doesn't do anything. Any any ideas? I might have to do this. What a troublesome little pest you are. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, I have recovered from any slight damage I've taken. And now, how I will punish you for your resistance. Uh, Mario, what do we do? We could be done for. I will ask you again, will you serve me? If so, I will forgive you for this. Forget it. I know we'll win. Mahaha, <laughs> very well. Then you will perish. What? What is this? The crystal stars? Ah! Why is it? <laughs> I said appearing over the noose in town. Oh, look, it's Luigi. I haven't done my shitty Luigi voice today. Uh, what? What now? What's this shiny thing? Yeah, hey, that's the crystal star. But I thought Mario had this thing. I wonder, kids, if this is related to the sky getting all dark and whatnot. Hmm, you may be right, but I don't know. But if anything's happened to my boy, Coops and Mario... Oh dear. Coops, you're okay, right? You promised me you'd come back, okay? Wow, the crystal star. What in the world? What is good? What's that doing here? This is very mysterious. Yes, mystery that. Snap out of it, Elder. Brother, Mario's in trouble. That's what the crystal star is here to tell us. I just know it. What? Could it be? Hey, you're right, Petuni. I can, I can hear it. The Crystal Star is speaking to us. It's telling us that Mario is fighting to save the world and he's in deep trouble. Mario, Flurry, come on, don't give up. Yeah, you can do it, guys. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the power of friendship. Yeah, that's gonna be one of these. Gonzalez. I mean Mario. I know you're fighting far away right now for us, for all of us. This crystal star has told us of your last brave stand. Maybe we can't do much to help you, but we're thinking of you. All our wishes are for you, for your victory. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, feel it. Rock out, great Gonzalez. Rock! Listen to me, Gonzalez. Anybody who's beat me is not allowed to lose. That's right. You start. Tell that shrimp that beat us to never give in. Right. We're sending you all our strength, G-Man. You feeling the love out there? Gonzalez! Fight on, Mario. Don't you give up, Mario. Give it to him. Fight, fight. Yeah, never give in. Mario, you may feel like it's going rough. Like the tides have shifted against you. But if you lose, the world will be plunged into darkness forever. Please don't give in. Vivian was her name, right? I'm a bit worried about the girl that was with Mario. I hope they're both okay. They'll be... Oh, that'll be fine, all of you. Mario will never give up. Mario will stand true. I, st I still remember how easily he took care of that monster who had cursed us. We must have faith in him. We must believe that light will return to our world. I guess we're going to pop in and see everyone, huh? Mario, don't give up! Come on, you bilge pumps. I can't bloom in here. Fight, Bobbery, fight! Once more! Go, go, go! Admiral Bobbery, show them what a real sea bomb's made out of, mate. I do hope they're all okay. Do not fear, my dear. Luigi is my finest pupil. I'm quite sure he'll prevail. Well, I worry nonetheless. I so hope there is a future in which my little bub can grow and prosper. Well then, I suppose all we can do is give him a rousing cheer, hmm? Yes, certainly. I am quite sure he can hear us through the power of this crystal. Done right, Dad. Go, Gonzalez. Go get them. Mario, you lovely thing. Etc. Etc. Mario, G Gonzalez, not L Luigi. We are assembled, Mayor. Okay. Good work, my comrades. Now let us do it. Ready and... Mario! Mario, you can do it. Is that... Can you hear them, Mario? So many voices. <laughs> Go Luigi, I mean Mario. They're... They're all sending us their wishes and positive energy. That's so sweet. <laughs> what, 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 what are these vile voices? Mario, look at that. What is this? Light! Ah! 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 
Mario. That voice. Princess Peach? Mario, hi. <laughs> what? You wretched little girl, you disobey me. Mario, take, take the loss of my power. What? What is this? I feel completely revitalized. You brat, obey me, girl. Farewell, Mario. I believe in you. Peach! Gah, you're very cunning, princess. But you will not undo me. Know me as your queen. <laughs> the Shadow Queen is an introvert too much socializing. Probably. Mario, this is our moment. We're almost there. Enough! This ends now! I'm going to guess that... There we go, now we can do this. Okay, I'm gonna... Going with Flurry for a little bit. Okay. Eliminate those hands first. What? How is that? You can hurt me! Now that is more like it. Prepare to pay for all your ills. Fools! Sorry, that looked funny. Just... Oh no, okay. Um, that's not cool. Yeah, I don't really have anything that does mass damage, so... I'm going to assume that Vivian's attacks are like, P here. So let's just try this. Okay. Well, this is a bad time to get this. Vivian has been uh, quite clutch in these last fights. No joke. Oh no, there's mist in the arena. That is not cool. Okay, we're dodging the next attack. Mm. 
I'm gonna use treat just to try and get some flour. I'd rather heal than have it. <sighs> and poison mushroom. Okay, that was good. I love how the audience is back all of a sudden after <laughs> being consumed. That's a little annoying. Vivian, you're up. <laughs> yeah, I'm going in. Now's the time to use this. Damn it. All right, let's select. Ah, oh, crap. And Vivian carrying. Okay, um, I'm going to double dip. Give Vivian a heal. Again, you've got to be kidding. I oh, know it's okay, it's increase. Okay. 
The problem is... Um, I'll do this. No, but defense is up, defense is up, never mind. I shouldn't do that with defense up. <laughs> you do not know what you have done. Oh god. Okay. Ugh, man. This is tough. Ah. Uh oh. This is gonna hurt. Yikes. Keep Vivian alive. Whoops. It's fine. Oh, no. That was my last. Use piercing blow. <laughs> no, it cannot be how. It's not over yet, clearly. Poor Vivian. I, I have to. Oh crap. That was bad. That was really bad. Oh, God. Alright, I got a little bit.
Oh, oh it's just like permanent at this point. I'm conserving mana. Just swapping it out for the time being until they get recovered. Problem. Now the hands keep growing back every turn. Okay, hang on. Back to Vivian. I was pretty lucky, to be honest, like, all of them just happened at the end. Okay. This is annoying. Like eventually I'll lose if I keep doing this. Gonna say, ah! Oh, Vivian carry again. Well, this is uh quite the time to be getting this. Impossible, unthinkable! How could I? I cannot be beaten by lesser beings such as these. And I've just been reborn into this world. I cannot! I must not! Ah! My queen! Duh!
No! Let's get out of here, Marilyn! Gaho. Hey, 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 wait! <laughs> Princess Peach! Princess Peach is just fine. She's not even hurt. Ah, ah. Mario. So, it's all over then? I'm so sorry, Mario. Who knew all this would happen? No need to apologize, Peach. It was our pleasure. Thank you, all of you. Aha, there you are, Mario. Well, well, can you believe those brutes even came after me, an old Goomba? Ah, but I still made it here. I was so worried about you all. You have no idea. By the look of things, though, they, I uh, guess, were in the clear. Am I right? You kids sure are the real thing, I tell you. Yes, I seem to be in one piece. So, all is well. So, without further ado, take a look at this. I found this on the way. This must be the treasure we heard rumors of in Rogueport. My theory has been correct all these years. There really was a legendary treasure. Oh, Professor Frankly. Now, don't bring me down now. It might be something great. And all's well that ends well. Now, how about we all get out of this dank place? Hmm. Let's go home, Mario. Back to everyone. <laughs> so you're leaving then? Well, that's just too bad. Having you around really did wonders for my research. <laughs> ah, Professor, we'd never let you monopolize Mario for your research anyway. Besides, you said I could be your next research assistant for the next term. <laughs> ah, yes, that's right. And I thank you, Gambella. <laughs> Mario, even after you leave here, please don't forget about us, all right? <laughs> and we in return will wish that you find all the best in the future. Never give up, Mario. That's the most important thing I learned from you. Thanks, Mario. Just promise me you'll think of me now and again, okay? Um... Mario, thanks to you, I've found courage and inner strength. I don't know how to say this, but I think I like myself more since I've known you. It's like I've become a tiny bit more like my dad, you know? It's all so hard to put into words, huh? My dear Mario, I am ready to make my comeback in the theatre now. i found so many things on this journey that I can only express on stage. And with these new themes, I am ready for that wonderful spotlight again. Please do come see me once we've finished rehearsing and bring Pe Princess Peach too, dear. Gonzales. Oh yeah, wait. I've gotta stop doing that. It's Mario, right? Well, you'll always be Gonzalez to me, man. Because I was born in the Glitz Pit, and Gonzalez is and always will be the champ. So let's meet again, Gonzalez. I mean it, man. Uh, Mario, I, 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 I feel like I've grown to look. Um, uh, yeah, never mind. Y yeah, I sure do think that you and Peach make a nice couple. <laughs> Hi. I'll never forget my time traveling with you. So, don't forget me either. Well, old boy. It was most agreeable that I had the chance to meet you. If not for you, then my dear Scarlet would still gaze down on a broken bob -omb. But now I'm off to sea again. I know Scarlet would have wanted it that way. Let's see each other again, Mario. And this time, let it be on the high seas, old boy. Well, the boat's almost here. 
Mario, who's yelling? Oh, it's the, uh... Ah, oh, we made it just in time. Take these with you. We brought them so you'd have something to eat on the boat. Yummy! These are very fresh mushrooms. How lovely. Thank you. Everyone! Oh wait, wrong voice. <laughs> if not for all of you, the world would have fallen into darkness. But your brave hearts strove for peace. And saved this world. I don't know how to thank you. But know that the entire world is in your debt. What nonsense! We're the ones who should be thanking you, Princess Peach! If you hadn't come to our little town, we'd all be puppets for the Shadow Queen and Greatest. The thought gives me hives! Ah, oh, look! Your Highness! I see the boat! Ah, forgive my lightness, sir. I must have dozed off a bit. But please come on board. I'll get you folks back at full steam. Take care, everyone. Farewell. <laughs> Set a course for the Mushroom Kingdom. They are all such lovely people, don't you think? I don't have too many good memories of Rogueport, what with the kidnapping and all. But it really is a vibrant town full of love for life, isn't it? Mario, I was very frightened when they took me. But, well, Peck was really there for me and helped me get through it all. And I knew that you would come to help me as well. I always believed in that. Thank you, Mario. I... maybe I shouldn't wander off by myself quite so often. Mario, look out there. Rogueport's positively shining. It's so beautiful. Oh, wow, that is wild, bro. It's time for more shitty Luigi voice. Okay, you had a pretty rough time of it, didn't you? <laughs> but now that Peach is safe, I guess everything's okay. Really, though. How amazing is it that you say the world again? Again, bro! And say, it's been a little while since then. Are you ready for a new adventure? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, you the man, bro. I wonder what everyone... Who traveled with you is up to. Oh, oh different ring clan. <laughs> wow, what was that, bro? Was that your new fangled mail gadget? Oh, there's photos in the background. Dear Mario, what's up? Goombella here. I'm still working with Professor Frankly. We beat the Shadow Queen, but there's tons of rogue port lore we still don't get. So my research with the professor goes on and on. With the info I gathered with you, we have lots of great leads now. Mario, like I always said, every myth contains a kernel of truth. Speaking of which, know what was in the chest that the professor recovered? You're totally not going to believe me when I tell you it's a secret. <laughs> but I'll tell you next time I see you. As part of my research, I did go back to the many places we visited. And I saw everyone we traveled with, too. K 
Koops is living peacefully in Petalburg with his dad and Koopy Koo. Too. And Mario, guess what Koops wants to do now? He wants to become mayor of Petalburg and live there in peace. Can you imagine? Still, it might just be perfect for him, come to think of it. He's so much more of an adult now than you were when you left Rogueport. Well, I read that wrong, but you know, you get the gist. Still, I think Koopy Koo pretty much has him wrapped around her little finger. Flurry is back on stage in a big way, and the crowds are totally ecstatic. And the play she's doing right now is the story of our adventure, yeah. It's called Paper Mario. I saw it twice. It was totally the best play ever. And somehow Duplis has joined the troupe as an actor. Who saw that coming? His transformation skills are serving him well, but it still kind of creeps me out. Oh, and Little Ponis. <laughs> Little Ponis? Yeah, he's fighting Solo in the Glitz Pit. He says he's getting pretty close to a tile match, even. Isn't that just adorable? Oh uh, yeah, he's calling himself the Great Gonzalez Jr. in the ring, by the way. It's sort of silly, but kind of cute too, don't you think? Oh, and wait. I have to get this exactly right, or he'll get, like, so mad at me. He said, uh, that he could totally take you in the ring now, so bring it. I guess he doesn't change. Isn't that too cute? Vivian's gone back to hang out with her sisters. She wants to give them another chance. Now that the Shadow Queen has been defeated, I don't think Beldum's into evil. Oh, and Beldum also promised me she would never be mean to Vivian again. Yep, I think the three sisters are going to live pretty peacefully from now on. But you should totally go visit her sometime. Barbary goes out to sea every day now on Cortez's ship. I think his soul was, has healed. I ran into him on Keelhole Key by accident the other day, which was nice. He was so happy, I thought he was going to blow up on me for a second there. You know, I bet Scarlet is looking down on him and smiling right now. Oh, and I almost forgot, everyone on Keelhole Key is well and they say hello. Oh, uh, yeah. In my travels, I heard a rumor that Lord Crump and Grotus were both still alive. I guess that makes them pretty tenacious baddies, doesn't it, Mario? But they've mellowed a lot, just like Beldum has, and I don't expect more trouble. Plus, I hear Grotus is just ahead, which really cuts down on the mischief making. Speaking of miracle survivals, guess whose favorite calculator is still computing? He says he really wants to see you and Peach again. Wow. How? <laughs> they implied that the base blew up. Well, I'm totally rambling at this point, so I guess I'd better wrap it up. I just want to say, even though things got tough, I'm grateful for our time together. And there's... One thing that kind of weighed on me, and I never got to express to you. See, I... Well, maybe that's best kept a secret. So please say hi to Peach for me, okay? Till we meet again, your friend Goombella. Hey, that was awesome, bro! Sounds like everyone's doing great over there. Oh, yeah. Huh? Someone here? Excuse me, sirs. Oh. Hello, Mario. Hello, Luigi. 
Please allow me to apologize for coming unannounced, but I was cleaning out the storeroom in the castle the other day and I found something rather amazing. Yes, Toadsworth found a treasure map. And I'm sure it'll lead to real treasure this time. I just know it. So Mario, you'd love to look for treasure. Isn't that right? The boat's waiting for you. All right. Wait, what's this? I think this is just credit roll. Yeah, there we go. All right, well, that was, uh, yeah, my playthrough of Thousand Year Door. Okay, I really enjoyed this game. Like, I, I can see why now this game is highly regarded and I mean the titles that followed some of them were good some of them they were not so great I haven't played the ones that are regarded as not so great but um I mean after this they kind of stopped with the typical turn-based mechanics that we see in this one and I guess every new iteration they had to try something different so, it was nice to go back to this. I, I really enjoyed that and not having to do what I had to do in the Origami King, which was like those puzzles for combat. So yeah, this was just nice. It also felt nostalgic as well. Um, in a lot of ways. And that's weird to say given I, ne I never played it before, but yeah. I like it. The story was uh, was really good. Now, I'm not going to do stuff like uh, try to get everything and 100% it. That's... I'm good. <laughs> I'm sh there's usually post-game content in these where you go do, like, a pit of trials or, like, some end-game content where you just repeat battles over and over again. I, I think I'm good. But, yeah, this one was a surprise when they announced it because... With um, Mario RPG being announced just not too long beforehand, did not see this coming, so it was great to get both of those games. Um, I hadn't played either, so now I have. Um, man, it really makes me want to go play Super Paper Mario, which is like the Wii game. Um, I have a copy of that somewhere, maybe at some point in the future, because that is also quite good. Sometime in future. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else I want to say about the game. Uh, as far as characters go, <laughs> just I forgot her name, but the one that blows wind. Neat character, but uh, I guess didn't, at least for me, get as much use as the others. Like I think. I kind of rotated everyone pretty evenly, though I did tend to lean to Ponus quite a bit, but, um, yeah, with her ability, I don't know, like, it just didn't seem as useful as the others. It was just, oh, when there's a puzzle for her, you use her, and then you don't really use her again for a while. So... I definitely think the three that I stuck with towards the end was Bobbery, um, Vivian, and Ponus. Like, those three were were good in terms of skill set. Each of them had something useful. One of the things that I now see is that um, the later Paper Mario games, they kind of lost a bit. So the critique is, like, the character designs have been simplified. You don't really get unique-looking characters as much anymore, and I, I can see that now, because this game had so many unique-looking characters to talk to. 
Like, the toads weren't just basic vanilla toad, right? They had a lot of different designs for the toads. And the later entries, they kind of just go stock standard. It might just be like a... Instead of a red toad, it's a yellow toad, but they're wearing almost the identical clothing, so... I, I kind of see that now, after playing this one. <laughs> the Bowser parts were awesome. They were great. I love how he was relegated to comic relief. The, the one thing that... Oh, man, the, that kind of... It was a little funny and didn't make too much sense. Hang on. I think we're done. But like, you know, the part where the computer decides to lock the elevators out <laughs> and says time is of the essence here, let me unlock them for you. When he had the ability to send text messages to my phone. Uh, that's the part that I was like, hmm. Anyway. And there we go. Alright. Well, again, that was my playthrough of thousand year door hope you enjoyed if you're checking this out later on youtube as well hope you enjoyed the playthrough uh if you do want to support the channel over there where all the vods are you can do things like click the like button subscribe or you can also watch me play other games if you want like yeah just go have a look at the channel or click one of those videos that pop up that stuff helps out a lot so i appreciate those that uh yeah take the time to do that but, yeah, there'll be uh, more Paper Mario stuff in future. Maybe one of the older games. Who knows? Um, but at the very least, I do want to play um, the Wii game at some point. But, yeah, who knows what that will be. <laughs>